Today we'll be going over Max Mirror. Now, in this problem, you'll basically be given an array, and what they want you to do is return the greatest size of a mirror you can find within the array. Now, think of a mirror like a number palindrome. What you're essentially looking for is looking is you're looking to see if the numbers can be reversed and be symmetrical. So for example, in this first array here, you can see that the greatest mirror is the 1, 2, 3 sequence. It's 1, 2, 3, and in reverse, it's 3, 2, 1. So they're symmetrical. Now, in the second array, you can see that 1, 2, 1 is the greatest mirror because it's still the same reversed. Now, in this third array, you'll see that the greatest mirror is the 1, 2, and consequentially the 2 1 which is why it returns it returns the answer 2 now to solve this we'll first create an integer length and set it equal to nums.length because it's a lot shorter then we'll also create an integer count and set it equal to 0 and create an integer max and also set that equal to zero. Now the count will basically determine the length of the mirror we're currently checking and the max will be the maximum count, which will be the, the max mirror. Now to do this, you'll want to look through the array in two ways. You'll want to look at it from front to back as well as from back to front. So we'll start by creating a for loop that goes from the beginning to the end. Now from here, you will every single time you start from a new num a new index from the front, you'll want to reset count to zero. Now from here you'll want to create the second for loop that runs from the back. So we'll set an integer j to length minus one. Now, j must be greater than negative one. However, we must also make sure that i plus the length of the mirror do not exceed the length of the array. Now once you have the second array, the second for loop that checks the array from the back, all you need to do is compare if the two numbers you're checking at i plus count, because remember, i is only the starting index of the mirror you're checking from the front, your count the i plus count will determine the actual index of the number you're currently checking. So if numbers, if nums at i plus count is equal to nums at j. If it is, then you'll want to add one to count. However, if the two numbers you're checking are not equal, you need to check if count is greater than zero. Because if count is greater than zero, that means that, remember, count is keeping track of the length of the mirror you're checking. So even though the two numbers you just checked were not equal, if count is greater than zero, that means that you recently did check a mirror. So if you did check a mirror, you need to take the maximum of the two values of the mirror you previously checked and the mirror you checked right now. So we'll say max is equal to the maximum value between whichever is greater between count and max. And then once we do that, we need to reset count equal to zero in order to make sure that the count values in order to make sure that the mirror length values do not keep adding up. Now, once you do that, at the end of each of these iterations of this outer for loop here, 
we need to make sure that your max is equal to the maximum value between count and max. Now, once you do this, all you need to do is return your maximum value and oh. Hmm. Well, that's not good. Oh, there we go. And boom, there's your answer.